Yeah, so I will be teaching you. Welcome to Oikris Creation. I'll be teaching you how to make a pleated uh, skirt. A pleated skirt, the same way you will use to make a pleated gown. So I have about uh, two and a half yards of fabric here. Yes, before I continue, you see this visor cap on my head. This is what I'm going to be rocking this skirt with. And if you want to learn how to make this visor cap, just check, go to my YouTube channel and check how to make a visor cap. You will see it. I also uploaded a video on how to, to attach Velcro and your label on the cap. You can see how fine and neat it fits. Look at it. And you close it. Yep. Yeah. Yes. So to do this, we we'll first of all go ahead and then fold the tip of this the tip this tip like this you fold it into two and stitch it that's the you you fold it into the wrong part and then stitch it okay so i'll stitch it straight down uh -huh. for the record the width of this fabric is 45 and the length too like from here down to the wideness that's the wideness the this this place like this is a uh, two and a half inches that's like 36 plus 36 plus 18 that's about 89 inches. Look at it. Are you seeing it? So, when you are done folding the edges like this, look at the edge that I folded. Can you see? The next thing now is to start splitting your fabric so I'll start pleating it now yeah. so stay focused here to start well when you are making your pleat you should consider your waist measurement your round waist measurement where you are going to be wearing the skirt whether it is a gown the 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 waist major or your round abdomen when you are going to be putting the gown so that when you pleat you measure because your pleats must be up to your round measurement so to pleat is like this you fold this i hope you can see like this put it on your machine and then start so as you sew, you pleat. As you sew, you pleat. You be. So you just to be folding it on top of each other like this, and then you sew on top of it, close to the edge, close to the edge. Okay, okay. So you do this until you exhaust your material. But while you are doing this, consider your waist measurements. For me, I will be using, uh, I think, about 32. I think my waist now is more than uh, 32, maybe 33. So I'll consider that. Can you see as I'm pleating it? Let me show you. Are you seeing it? So this is what I'll do until I 
I exhaust it and I will show you, okay? Just stay connected. So, I'm done gathering it. Look at it. To my waist, to my waist size. So, this is it. I'm going to use, uh, to wear it as high waist. So, I'll still leave this space open because I might, uh, that will be where I will attach my zip. Okay. You can decide to make this place a side, uh, this thing. You can, you can decide to make it sideways and then you attach your zip. And you can decide to use it at the back. Can you see? So, whether for a gown or a skirt, this is how to pleat. Hmm? So the next thing is that um, I have um, a strip here that I'll be used as my belt hmm? and it's 45 inches. I made it to be longer than my, my waist because I want the rope to remain at the back. It is tight. So 45 inches and 5 inches wide. Folded into two. Look at it. If you open it up, it's five inches. But if you close it, it will be two and a half inches. Can you see? So I'm going to use it to turn my skirts up like this. Place it like this and then stitch it round together and turn it up. So... I'm done attaching the belt. Look at it. See the inside. I just use it to to turn it over like this. Please subscribe if you like this video. Like this video. Share this video. Please follow me on Instagram at Oikris Creation Craft. Facebook at Oikris Creation. You can enroll in our online training and we will give you the best. Wash it over and over again to understand better. This is it. Can you see? Very well. So, you can even decide not to close this. Like, uh, I have a weaving machine here. Look at it over there. I can decide to just weave this opening. And then wear a gown inside. Uh, and, and then uh, use this. And, and tie it more like a wrapper and I'll tie this at the back and it's also a style do you get it? look at it can you see? Thank you.